Everything is dipped in gold Then baby it will never grow Everything sweet ain't sugar Greetings and hey, hi, hello. Shout out to you. If you are a subscriber here, that means that you are a Talian. Shout out to you, Tay Gang. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified whenever I pull up a new content just like this. I'm super excited to present today's pick a card reading to you. We're going to be finding out the questions that people have in regards to you. What's the chit chat behind the scenes? But most specifically, why are people most curious about you? Are there specific questions that they have relating to you? We're going to find out today. But before we get into it, I want to shout out and thank Timu for sponsoring today's video. Yeah. Now, I don't know about you, but Timu is no stranger to me. So when they reached out to me wanting to collaborate to bring this video to you today, I did not hesitate, mm. babes. I don't care what they're talking about over there about my girl Timu, because Timu is that girl. Timu is that girl that comes through for me every single time. Even before this collaboration, I was a faithful Timu orderer, a faithful Timu customer. As a matter of fact, I think I've mentioned Timu before. I do believe I let you guys know before that Timu is where I had ordered some decks previously for the channel. And so this video here is absolutely no different, except I have goodies in return for you. Not only do we have a giveaway, which I will give you details about in just a second, but we also have coupon codes and information that you need in order to shop over on Timu for yourself. So first things first, I do encourage you to get like me and download the Timu app. Yeah, you see it right there. Your girl has had the Timu app on her phone for a long time. I do highly recommend you downloading that there. And I have a very special code for you when you do. That will be right here on the screen. That specific code on the screen will give you access to your very own coupon bundle, which is one of my favorite things about Timu. I cannot even tell you how many times I get caught in this rabbit hole of amazing coupons on Timu, babe. So when you get ready to shop on Timu, make sure you dedicate some time to yourself. Make it a self-care moment. Get some, some tea, some water, a snack, and vibe because you will be there for a long time because there's so much great stuff on the site. And let me just tell you, we're just going to be scratching the surface of some of those great things in this video. So remember, I told you that very special code that's on the screen, you do want to lock in with that because it will give new users the opportunity to purchase anything off of the site for $1. Yes, honey, you heard that. For one US dollar, you can get any item off of the site for new users. Again, this is why I highly recommend downloading the Timu app and using that code that's on the screen so that you don't miss out on all these great deals. So I will be sure to leave all of that information in the description box down below because right now I want to dive into a little bit of show and tell to let you guys know what new items do we have presented here for the channel and I will also be letting you know at the very end of this video details on the giveaway, what you will be receiving, as well as how you can be entered to win these items for the giveaway. There are two separate giveaways here so there will be a first place winner and a second place winner. Let's go ahead and get into the goodies. So, let's dip into our bag of goodies. I just want you to know that I got so many great things that might not even be physically shown in the video to you, but I'm gonna make sure I show the things that matter the most, meaning the tarot cards, the crystals, the necklaces, the jewelry, the things that pertain to this channel specifically. But as a side note, I also did order a fold-out table as well as a mosquito net to create some sort of vibes. I haven't completed the vision there yet, which is why I'm not putting it in the video right now. And I also 
ordered this amazing oil diffuser that is right here next to me and has been next to me ever since the day I got it and opened it. I was obsessed in love. Highly recommend. But now to the things that specifically pertain to the channel in this bag. So in no particular order, I'm just going to dive into this bag and whatever comes out first is going to be first and so on and so forth. I will have um, a screen recording on the side here where you can see the items and their prices. So if you're curious, the items, the prices and the names will be, again, screen recorded right here. Diving in, I have to admit, this is probably one of my favorite items from this sponsorship with Timu because this is a deck that I definitely manifested. I saw this being used in, I believe it was the Tarot Priest. Uh, that may not be that channel's name anymore, but I believe I watched a video for the first time and saw this beauty at work. And I was like, oh yes, absolutely. I need that. And then Timu reached out and this came to my mind. And I was like, let me see if it's available. And it absolutely was. Now, what I will say when it comes to shopping uh, tarot decks specifically over on Timu, keep in mind that because this is a website where you are getting things very inexpensive, treat this as the treasure hunt that it is. I wasn't sure that when I ordered this deck it would be full size or if it was going to be a mini version, but that was a chance I was willing and ready to take. But to my surprise, it most definitely is full size. And not only is it full size, but babes, it even has the red foil on the sides to give a very expensive and extravagant type of look darling so this was a really great find and a very happy surprise for your girl Tay because again I went into this with a very open mind considering these things are extremely inexpensive so you can't get mad treat it like the treasure box back in school where you racked up a certain amount of money or coins and you would just dive in and just see what you got every single time and it was always a joyous experience so keeping that in mind we now have the next oracle deck popping out here which this one i believe is not full sized but again i was well aware that this was a possibility that it might not come full size and that was a chance i was willing to take and i'm not mad about it the oracle deck is absolutely perfect i've used it in so many readings and babes just ugh, magnifique now we have these assaulted stone necklaces now i do believe these were advertised as crystals i can't recall again it'll be over on the screenshot if you need it um but again i ordered that keeping in mind that because i'm getting these things so inexpensive i'm not going to expect the crystals to be of the purest form are these natural crystals I'm going to say I do not believe so, but that doesn't stop me from wearing them. And the only reason why I say I do, not, I do not believe so is because I kind of can feel the vibes and the energy when I'm wearing an authentic crystal. I don't necessarily feel that with those crystals. But hey, I could be wrong, babes. But again, that's more so, as it says, literally fashion jewelry. But it gets the point across. For example, this one just fell off. But if you look at this, any of the crystal girls would know this is meant to duplicate, replicate Tiger's Eye. And it absolutely does give that vibe because Tiger's Eye even has like the, um, the reflective uh, multi-tones to it. And this absolutely does give that energy. But speaking of energy, I don't feel any energy resonating off of it okay but again that didn't stop me I thoroughly enjoy that purchase so much I've already worn a couple of the necklaces next thing here we have this oracle deck which I have put to great use already most specifically in personal readings here because sometimes you guys will come to me and be like hey Tay I need to know what my spiritual gifts are that deck is absolutely perfect to reveal to you what you already know about your spiritual gifts as well as some spiritual gifts that may be hidden under the surface okay a few more decks we have the 
mystic red rose oracle here these cards are uh really all about uh random messages if you will they provide a lot of insight during readings there's the back and then we have this lovely 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 tarot deck which i have also used it's like under the sea theme with very natural images that look like they might have literally taken them from under the water not any ai type ish and then we have this what's the tea deck this one can get a little messy but you know sometimes we need a little messy to get the truth okay now these oh my gosh i've used these before and if you're um following me over on tiktok which you definitely should you would see that me and this deck right here we have a love-hate connection because of how amazing the deck is but boy oh boy this is a very slippery deck this gold foil will slip right out of your hands there's been multiple readings where the whole deck just popped out of my hand and i had to gather and collect okay but just keep that in mind but i still use it because i really like it next we have these astro dice here which are no strangers to the channel i've used dice like this before mine that i uh, already own are just white and clear and this will just be added to the family next we have a deck that has been very popular on the channel i've used this several times already the tattoo tarot this is one that i wasn't sure if it would come in full size or not it is not full size but babes i still love and adore this deck and highly 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 recommend next we have the mystical moon oracle and that's why i was getting these mixed up they both start with the name mystic but this one is more about timing as you see on the back here it says like july next full moon okay while this one here is more about like uh love or talking about a next date or a relationship that's ascending to the next level or engagement so on and so forth we have two final decks here the angel number oracle cards which i absolutely love and adore i have used these a couple of times mostly in personal readings and they have gave great insight and here although i am not a tarot learner these are learning tarot cards they say for ages 14 and up but i always find that these decks are extremely useful on certain particular days when you want to pick up new meanings find new vibrations with the cards these are great for that because if you can see here on the side it has the different astrological planets the chakras the zodiac sign all these key words you just can't go wrong with a deck like this now the last thing in this bag she's real she is really real okay she's really real and here she is I wasn't too certain about this. This is a rose quartz sphere, a rose quartz crystal sphere. I felt and continue to feel the energy radiating off of this specifically. Now I will say, if I'm not mistaken, I did quote unquote boil out on this one. I think I picked the larger one. Um, I think it was the largest and the most ex expensive out of the tier that they allowed you to choose from because I think it was a drop down menu where you could choose from like three different sizes. I chose the largest one because I really wanted to put this to the test for you guys. But I would say to my crystal girls and gals, my crystal aliens out there, definitely check out Timu for some authentic crystals. Maybe not necessarily the jewelry, but I have a little bit more info on that too. Let me place this in a safe space. I need to get um, one of those little stands for crystal spheres so that she doesn't roll all over the place. But let me show you that. A couple of necklaces that I do believe are authentic, or at least one of them I do believe is a uh, real, natural, authentic crystal. Um, the one that I'm not certain about, I'll show you that first. Sorry, there's my hair is in it because yeah, I've been wearing it this claims to be lapis lazuli 
Now, again, I'm not so confident in this one, but I do feel like it's a lot closer to being real than the assorted fashion jewelry necklaces that I showed you in that bunch over there. But it's really cutesy, gets the job done. You see her, you see her, okay? See, I shouldn't have done that because it just snatched a piece of my hair again. But anyways, now, this is one that I'm really leaning towards authentic and it's advertised as an amethyst necklace. And here it is wrapped. It kind of looks like a tree of life wiring. And this is the chain, assorted beads. I definitely felt energy radiating off of this one. And I've worn this the most because it just feels the most authentic. It feels the most real. And I feel like it's really working well with my energy at this time. If you do work with crystals, you do know that at certain points in time, certain types of crystals are your bestie. And right now me and Amethyst are like these. So this is all that I'm going to present to you guys. I'm sure there are a couple of things. I know that there's a letter necklace that I didn't show you guys. It's over there. Um, it has like clear, uh, beads that really reflect a lot of light. I love that so much about it. Um, and it has the letter V on it for my first name, Victasia. If you didn't know, follow me on Instagram so that you'll know my full name. <laughs> it's down below. But yeah. And again, the oil diffuser over here, as well as the table that I'm currently working at. This foldable table is also from Timu as well. I will say again, it's kind of like playing um, the lottery in a sense, not really knowing what you're gonna get, but just having fun with it because this table, I specifically did order it in a brown color. It came in black. I'm gonna just go ahead and vibe with it. I'm also big on believing that everything happens for a reason. So maybe I needed a black table. I'll maybe look for um, like the, the laminated stickers that you can like put on flat surfaces to make it appear in whatever way that you want to but it's really not a big deal to me because a table is a table is a table is a table and again the mosquito net that kind of like gives that frilly frou-frou princess vibe I haven't necessarily decided where I'm gonna put that what I'm gonna do with that but this has been my Timu haul for the channel and there's also a very beautiful sun catcher that came in a pack of three. One of them is hanging from my window currently. Um, you'll see it again in that screenshot over here and also if you heard it comes in a pack of three. Hint hint wink wink the giveaway may include some sun catchers for my subbies. But again, if you're interested in the giveaway portion, that will be uh, time stamped in the description box down below. And I will explain all the details when we get there. But let's go ahead. We've long talked enough. Let's go ahead and dive into today's pick a card reading to find out why are people most curious about you. Okay, so here we are three decks laid out in front of you. Please feel free to pause the screen, meditate, contemplate, do whatever you need to do to connect to ground. Take some deep breaths, send up a prayer, ask for clarity, peace, motivation, truth, and intention as I do pray that this reading provides peace, love, light, healing, clarity, most importantly, truth and motivation to those of you that are viewing. We have the first deck with the plaid blue. We have the second deck with the red and black and the third deck, red and white. Two out of these three decks presented before you are from today's sponsor, Timu. I will be sure that those are linked down below for you. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, group one. <clears throat> Tap me into group number one, please, spirit. Why are people most curious about my group number one? Those that chose this deck here, group 
Number ones. Why are people most curious about those that select group number one? Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. I'm getting the whole story. Give me a second because this is some tea here for real. Speaking of tea, this is the What's the Tea deck that Timu has gifted the channel. it all right so why are people most curious about my group number ones they're most curious about you because they're trying to figure out why do you have condos in their head they're most curious about you because they cannot figure out no matter what chapter of their life that they're in, no matter what they're doing, no matter what they're saying, no matter where they're going, no matter who they're with, somehow, some way, all roads lead back to you, thoughts of you, them feeling like they lost out on you. So these are people, by the way, if this wasn't clear, these are people that feel like they're disconnected from you. There's also a side message here too. People are most curious about you. They wonder if they're good enough or if they can help you maintain or keep or uphold an image. they are curious about their own shortcomings but the reason why they're curious about this and the reason why it's popping up like this is because the 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 people that are popping up like they think highly of themselves or they've got things going for themselves they're accomplished in their own ways but for some reason they just don't reach the bar. They don't reach the standard. And they're curious about why or how this is. Um, I'm also picking up here too. For some of you, there's like um, literal law involved here or just a situation that has been addressed ended um and this is the person that feels like they quote unquote won in these scenarios in these situations where they either battled you in court literally or where it was you versus them um for some reason i think that even you the viewer might agree that with who this is they did win but I use that term win loosely because it's not really about a win and a loss it's like something about you is in agreement with their position like you don't blame them for drawing this line or making this claim or having to take it to the courts or whatever it may be it could just be like I don't know it feels like a respect thing I feel like you at least respect their choice you respect their decision you respect whatever had to occur but the thing that they're most curious about is why they cannot forget you. Ooh, I'm reading that one song. Did you forget everything we've ever had? Did you regret? Something, but what is that? Demi Lovato, 
don't forget or something like that or remember I don't know but I'm getting that song um give me clarity on this right here For some of you, they'll see tattoos that remind them of you on other people, or they'll see like these images and art and they think of you. Or they literally see old photos, or maybe this person went with you when you had um, got a tattoo. For some of you, their Snapchat keeps reminding them of y'all's past. But this person's looking like, even though this is something that they would never, they wouldn't want to look at. Like even if your Snapchat is doing the same thing to you, you're not looking. The other person involved here, they're looking. Yeah, and now that part of the song, somewhere we went wrong, we were once so strong. Our love is like a song. You can't forget it at all. Yeah, I'm coughing at the bottom of the deck. Okay, clarify this, please. For some, there's even like evidence or proof of a messy situation. Also, I was picking up here too. For some of you, they could be curious to, as, as whoop, dip, 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 they could be curious as to why or how you knew something because you might have been right about something. Um, this could also be because uh, I'm picking up on like a come up story. So maybe for some of you, like either you witness them come up or they witness you come up or something like this here. Um, and when I say come up, I just mean like stepping into purpose. Um, intentionality and most likely came along with physical or financial stability as well and what is that Didn't that just come out? What was they? Also, they could be curious about you because they seem to be putting two and two together. For some of you, this is something that's working out in your favor. Favor for others, maybe not so much. They're they're curious about you. They're looking for something, or they're looking for proof. Yeah, something here about the snake. Oh, when I was looking at that snake tattoo. So something about snakes are very significant here. Snakes are very significant here. Okay. Why am I picking up that message about snakes? Give me a side message here. Why am I picking up that message about snakes? Why am I picking up that message about snakes? Um, for some of you, this is like temptation in a relationship that didn't last either damn there goes a damn snake with the cupid's arrow that came out bottom of the deck camera reminiscing so for some of you this is you got to take the pieces as they come but for some of you you literally went and got like a snake tattoo with someone um and they have like photos videos of this um, for others of you, this is like photo or video proof or evidence that someone betrayed someone or that there was another person, a, a third party situation. But now another thing that I was picking up on here too is that some of these people could be in new relationships or situations or jobs, scenarios, whatever it may be, but you are still that sneaky flucker in the back of their mind. Their words, not mine. Okay, back to the main message here. Also, there's a mouse on the table. So snakes, mice, predator, and prey. Ooh, okay, what is this? 
the freaking another snake comes out and then we have healthy choices here in the upright mirror at the bottom of the deck mirroring each other self-reflection introspection inner wounds so for some there's also this like this vibe where it's like i see where i went wrong i see where you went wrong and they're curious to know if you see where you went wrong and if you see where they went wrong so they're curious about you because they could be reflecting on this situation and how things went down between you um also someone could be from australia um because i was hearing like sire look my australian accent isn't that great okay i'm so sorry i'm pretty good with accents but not that one because it's so close to a british accent i just can't decipher and i know it's not that close but it's close for me who doesn't speak in either one okay one to clarify this card please Mm -hmm. oh, the goddamn snake is at the bottom of the deck again. If this is an ex, they could be curious about like the type of people that you've been with so far. Um, because they feel like you could okay they kind of felt like you were in a way out of their league or you could kind of like be out there like right now i'm looking out over the horizon and it's like you could just kind of be like you could really like date way out of your league or way out of the country or for some of you this could even be something like that too for some of you it's even their way out of the country still thinking about you they could be out of the country with somebody else still thinking about you and that's why they're curious about you but yeah they are curious about your dating life they're curious about um potentially your finances um they're curious about um places you've been photos that you've um popped up in in whatever way that that is true for you but this is definitely someone who is no longer in your life you've both moved on but they cannot stop thinking about you for sure like they always 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 compare you to the last person or the current person always They're very curious to know if you're dating somebody now. There's a there's a nostalgic bittersweetness here. Feels like a situation where the dust has finally settled. Could have been a pretty ugly situation, but again, the dust has finally settled. What is this that's picking up? I do keep picking up on an accent passion maybe for some of you they have like hot pictures of you or something like this here and they're still looking at that reminiscing or they're just thinking about it because we do have in their head at the bottom of the deck they could just like constantly see that for some of you if they've moved on and they're like intimate with other people they still definitely do compare or think about you yeah yeah that's all the confirmation that i need right now for sure mm, oh that was another one too this person also reflects back and they're curious about like how you feel about that come up story situation um because there's something here about you being there for this person when they were bankrupt or when they didn't have a car or when they didn't have anywhere to live um where they didn't know what to do i don't know just something like that um yeah i could keep going on and on and on and on and on and on and on but i already know that y'all are probably on eggshells and tiptoeing with me right now because i brought up the past but this was healthy and necessary for forward movement so thank you so so much for being here if you're interested in the decks that i used here they will be linked down below as we have the mystic red rose we have the what's the tea deck 
and those are the only two worth mentioning from Timu for this group. If you want to see the other decks in action, definitely check out groups two and three just to browse around to see. Um, oh, I didn't show you guys your cards, but what else? It's because we're focusing on the Timu cards. You've seen these cards a million and one times. What is that? Oh, it's a lizard. Okay. But now that I'm mentioning it, though, I will show you that these are the three main tarot cards that came out for you. Which way do I want to do that? King of Swords came out, followed by Justice and the Nine of Cups. These were your three main cards. All right, thank you for being here and I'll chat with you next time. Again, those links for the decks will be in the description box down below. If you're interested in booking a personal reading, that will be the very first link in the description box down below. Second link for Patreon, join us over there. There will be a new pick a card coming up this week, okay? And if you're interested in donating to the channel, there is a PO box as well as a virtual tip jar in the description box down below. I thank you in advance. However, if you want to contribute to this channel's support and success for free skis, give this video a thumb up leave love in the comment section down below share this video with a friend and be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell and also don't forget about that giveaway that we have that will be time stamped in the description box down below as well so make sure you check that out so that you can enter to win a chance at one or two prizes ta-ta deck number two you chose the pulp tarot which is Probably my favorite purchase with Timu in this sponsorship collab. Okay, this is probably my favorite out of all of them. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into your reading and find out why are people most curious about you, group number two. If you're interested in the decks that I am using here today, they will be linked in the description box down below and you can get extra special deals on them as well okay someone needs to know if you pick this group you could be extremely successful as um an energy reader um or like a tarot reader uh runes sticks bones whatever you could be extremely successful in a otherworldly means of success for some of you that otherworldly also looks like um like pinky doll um or like uh when i say pinky doll i'm referring to the person who um dresses up and puts on this uh npc persona you could be extremely successful in something like that um Also, someone that's watching here, you need to get away from that person that you feel like is, is counting every mistake or everything that's wrong or something like that. Okay. Why are people most curious about you? Okay, so it could be your psychic gifts and abilities as to why people are most curious about you. But... Let's get to the layout. Why are people most curious about group number twos? Why are people most curious about my group number twos? Okay, 
So this group here. People are most curious as to how you deal with something. Obviously, it's hundreds of millions of bajillions of eyes tuning into this, so please use your discernment. But people are most curious about the behind the scenes. They want to know, like, how do you deal with haters? How do you deal with trolls? How do you set this up? How do you do this? How do you do that? How do you deal with people that are obsessed with you? How do you deal with this? How do you deal with that? Um, are you dating someone? Are you seeing someone? How do you feel? Are you going to therapy? Do you do this? In a situation like this, what would you do? It's those types of questions popping up here. Okay. But mostly in regards to how you deal with negativity. How you deal with attention, being on display. Uh, give me clarity there. Ah. It's like, how do you deal with situations that don't deserve you but keep trying to consume you or people that don't deserve you but keep trying to consume you? How do you protect yourself? How do you feel about yourself? How do you see yourself? What do you do for self-care? People are very intrigued by your behind the scenes lifestyle. Um, so back to what I was talking about, if you're like some sort of a creator here, um, whether it be in the spiritual realm or not, um, this is a situation where people would be interested in knowing about like, how do you get ready for what you're doing today? Uh, what do you do behind the scenes? How do you prepare for this? How do you prepare for that? How do you deal with this? How do you deal with that? But specifically, what it's like being the center of attention or what it's like to be you. But it's obvious that it's not all glamorous or cracked up to what people try to make it seem to be. Clarify this, please. If you felt drawn to group number one, do check that out, but only if you felt drawn to before I said it. Um, cash is also relevant here too, like, so maybe how much money you have or how much money you make, but for you specifically, people are very curious about like very intimate and personal things. Like they want to know what's going on in your head. They want to know how you're feeling. Especially those of you that are um, online specifically because uh, we have three different cards here um, specifying difficulties when it comes to interacting with trolls or toxic people online. So they could also be curious about how you truly feel about it. Um, it. Does it not get to you or does it sometimes or if it does you have a method, a routine, a practice. These are the things that people are curious about when it comes to you.
Also something here about people's attachment styles to you. Like, do people get obsessed with you because people feel like on the outside looking in, they think that this would be something that would probably be the norm for you, for people to like either obsess over you, think that they know you, want to see you in real life, things of that nature. And ultimately it just seems like they're curious about this because they're kind of seeing it in a way where it seems like maybe there's more cons than pros, more bad than good. And so your perspective is what people are most curious about. Your perspective in regards to your position or your hobbies, talents, skills, your passion, your drive. Okay? Um, your message is honestly pretty straightforward, so I'm going to leave this right here, um, but do stick with me so I can show you just a glance at the cards that came out for you from the tarot deck. This is, again, the Pulp Tarot, my favorite one from this Timu collaboration. These cards are just absolutely stunning. These are not even... Um, any of my favorite ones presented here and they're still really amazing looking so definitely highly recommend checking that out there are links down below um, where you can get your own discounts so you can get some savings get some deals okay that will be linked down below but if you're interested in booking a personal reading that'll be the very first link in the description box down below second link will be for patreon we do have a pick a card reading coming up on patreon that will not be available on the channel this week as we do every week so make sure you tune in for that and if you're interested in donating to the channel, there is a P.O. box as well as a virtual tip jar in the description box down below. But if you want to contribute to the channel's growth and support for free skis, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, share this video with a friend, and hit the subscribe button as well as the bell. Also, don't forget that there is a giveaway. There's two tiers for giveaways here. So there's a first place and a second place prize. So make sure you check the timestamps down below. There's going to be a lot of information down below. I'll try my best to really organize it for you. But there will be a timestamp down below for the giveaway information on how you can enter to win. So I'll see you there if you're there. And again, don't forget to check out the Pulp Tarot linked down below. Group number three, you chose the Tattoo Tarot which will be linked down below. Let's find out why are people most curious about you? Why are people most curious about my group number threes? about my group number threes. Why are people most curious about my group number threes? So, why people are most curious about my group number threes? Something about a swift change in the blink of an eye. What loss or losses? contributed to you realizing or determining that something was a waste of time or wasn't up to par for you okay so appraisal value appraisal 
like the price of something, the worth or the value or the price of something is what people are most curious about when it comes to you. So how do you determine that something is up to your standard? Or if some are questioning this, it could even be like them wondering what you believe you are worth or they're curious to know if you know how much you're worth. Ah, okay. They, they're curious about you because you're one of very few amongst a dying breed. Um, they're also very curious about you because of something that you refuse to do that you would consider racking up bad karma or negative karma or drama. They could also be curious about some sort of recent negative conversation, quote unquote, negative conversation. It's interesting because it's like, there's like this heavy weighted gold, which is coming through as like you, your energy, but being afraid to spend it or to put it in the wrong places, spaces. Definitely curiosity about your past and again, what losses or transformations led to these conclusions, these points, these moments where you give up, these moments where you start up. Mm -hmm. What is this side energy that I'm picking up on? What is that? Feels like conclusions being drawn as a result of not knowing what's been going on. Yeah, this just kind of feels like a situation where it's like, we're curious to know about with group number three, like what have they gone through that transformed them in this way? Maybe what connections or what relationships led them to feel this way? Or for a lot of you I'm getting to, this has to do with like a job and like worth Does this mystic red rose oracle deck need to add anything? Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? Clarify that. Also curious about something in regards to like not easily being convinced, not easily able to change your mind. They're like, what led to this stubbornness? Some might call it stubbornness, but to me it feels like persistence, especially because you also have running here. Um, where for some, they'll look at it as like a fear of intimacy, blah, 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 blah. But when I'm looking at this running image, this person actually looks like looks at peace. And also you have wasting time out here, which is something that you obviously avoid doing. So you just keep it pushing, you keep the pace. When something's not up to par or up to value, you just keep it pushing, keep it moving. They're curious about this. If I'm if I'm being honest though, there there is this vibe here where like someone's thinking about this or curious about this because they want to test it. 
they want to see if they can get past it. it it's like a nasty like ego battle and like a tactic that they're trying to use to say that they that they accomplished or achieved something for their ego's sake here because I am really I'm picking up like this I don't know there's something here that I don't like there is something here that I don't like that I'm picking up on what is that that I am not liking here what is this Ooh. Mm -hmm. it's giving like lowball offers uh-huh okay so they're most curious about you because they're wondering if you would take a lowball offer or like okay they they're like yeah this person has a standard they have this they have that but if i waved a little gold in their face or if i did a little this then that would be good enough right Anything else? Anything else? Love, 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 love. But yeah, the narcissistic energy with the snake energy here. There's this, like, people are curious about, like, what they could do to make you question your value or make you come down from your high horse or make you chase them or make you want them. People are curious about your shadow work because of the value that you place on yourself. Because you don't give a fluck about options. Speaking out. Yeah, you're done with something here. So people are curious about like, oh, can I pull them back into this? Or are they gone for good? Yeah, definitely. I wouldn't be surprised if someone's trying to um, throw some money in your face or something like that. Um, and at the bottom of the deck, you have a card that says ascending, preparing for union, new phase. That's what I'm saying. Like you're, that's, that's old. Something is old. Maybe they're trying to hold you to your old standard or to they, who they thought that you were. But no, this specifically feels like someone who sees that something is expensive, knows it's worth, but still low balls. So people are curious to know like how low of a low ball offer could they give you or how high of still a low ball offer could they give you? to challenge your status quo or whatever. Here's a glimpse at the tattoo tarot here. Thank you to Timu for collaborating with us and providing us with such amazing, beautiful decks. I cannot wait to continue to share with you on the channel. If you are interested in any of the decks used in this video, that will be linked in the description box down below, as well as all the other things that Timu has provided for the channel. And if you're interested in booking a personal reading, that'll be the very first link in the description box down below. If you're interested in joining us on Patreon for pick a cards every single week, there is one coming up this week as well. That is the second link in the description box down below. And if you're interested in donating to the channel, there is a PO box as well as a virtual tip jar in the description box down below. However, if you want to contribute to the channel for free skis, give this video a thumbs up. Leave love in the comment section down below. Share this video with a friend. 
and make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified whenever I pull up a new content just like this. Also, don't forget that there is a two tier giveaway, first place, second place. Make sure you click the timestamp down below. There's gonna be a lot of information down there, so make sure you read slowly. It's gonna be a lot, but it's also necessary because there's discount codes, there's uh, booking personal readings, there's Patreon, there's donations, so on and so forth. So just make sure you read slowly, okay, and see what fits you. Um, but also check it out because it will give you the timestamp for details on the giveaway. There will be two winners and I can't wait to send your gifts off to you guys. All right, all right. So this is all that I have for you. And until next time, again, if you're interested in the tattoo tarot, that'll be linked down below. All right, so hey, hi, how are you doing? This is the portion of the video where you gain access to find out how you can be entered to win the giveaway. So again, there are two winners. There's a first place and a second place winner. The first place winner is going to receive their very own tarot deck and a sun catcher, while the second place winner is going to receive their very own sun catcher. So first prize is a tarot deck paired with a sun catcher and the second prize winner is a sun catcher that will be sent off to you for free skis and all you have to do is comment down below and let me know what is some sort of sacrifice or change that you've had to make in your life in order for your heart's health and well-being maybe this is something that you didn't necessarily want to let go of or this could be a realization where you're like dang i didn't know that by me allowing this or by me doing this i was hurting myself i just want your light bulb moment tell me about your light bulb moment that's the emoji that i want to see down below if you are entering to win light bulb emoji and tell me what was your light bulb moment where you realized that you could really contribute to the health of your heart and forward movement and success through this light bulb moment i want to know in the comment section down below you can get as detailed as you want to or you can be as vague as you want to be i just need to see the light bulb emoji and you telling me your light bulb moment on how you essentially saved yourself from heartbreak, heartache, and loss. I look forward to reading your comments and the winner will be announced on November 1st. Ta-ta! That means that you have 17 days if I'm not mistaken. So no, it'll be maybe like 15 days because by the time this video gets up, but you have until October 31st to get those entries in and I will be selecting on November 1st, 2024. I look forward to reading your comments. Remember, light bulb and the light bulb moment of how you realize you could rescue yourself by making this change, this sacrifice, or by accepting this truth. I'll see you next time. Bye. First place will receive Livet, the ghost tarot that was gifted to us by Tarot Stack. And this beautiful, beautiful sun catcher. Beautiful, beautiful. It'll be triplets. There are three of us out in the world that will have these sets here. There's a set of three sun catchers. I already have one hanging in my window, which I did show a clip of and you will have the second one and second place will receive the third one my second place winner this is the sun catcher that you will receive so pretty so 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 pretty and I can't wait to be triplets with you guys around the world once we find out who our first and second place winners are. Be sure to enter in the comments down below and we will be finding out who the winner is on November 1st.